conclusion. So we discussed on capital expenditure, revenue expenditure, deferred revenue expenditure, capital receipt and revenue receipt. What did we say? What? How do we distinguish? An expenditure, any amount that is spent has to be split into either capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. What are the implications? When we take it as a capital expenditure, it is an asset. If it is an asset, it goes to our balance sheet. It improves the financial position, improves the asset. There is an, the, um, the, uh, num, the amount of assets in the balance sheet will go up, increase. That is capital expenditure. In case of revenue expenditure, it is an expense. What happens as a result of this expense? It is taken to profit and loss account and the profits will come down. And the profits will come down. How do you decide whether an expenditure is capital or revenue? It could depend on the nature of the business because what is the purpose? Ultimately, it will be the purpose which will decide whether it's capital or revenue, not just the item. The example we took was a furniture dealer buying furniture. Since he buys furniture to sell, this, this expenditure on furniture would be revenue. But another person who buys the furniture for use in his office for the next three years, such furniture would be what is called a capital expenditure. So it could depend on the nature of the business. Then it depends on the nature of the expense. If it is a regular, recurring expenses which are incurred for the regular business operations, for running the day-to-day -day business activities of the business, they are called revenue in nature. But expenses which are incurred once in a while, they are called capital. Benefit when it is received over more than one year, it is called capital. Benefit is only in the current year, then it is called revenue. Having said all this, if, uh, if the cost is not very material, not very significant, it's very small amount, it is always better to treat it as revenue, write it off to the profit and loss account. Instead of carrying small, very small, insignificant amounts, as assets in the balance sheet. Another distinction, another way to understand is that while capital expenditure is spent for acquisition of an asset in order to improve its efficiency, improve its productivity, improve its revenue earning capacity. But a revenue expenditure is spent in order to maintain the asset in that in that condition, maintain the asset in that condition. Therefore, painting charges, repairs every year, etc. are all taken as revenue expenditure. However, if you have a, a repair of a substantial amount such that the efficiency of the, business, of the machinery, the productivity of the machinery has improved, then that cost of repairs would be treated as a capital expenditure. So these were a few guidelines in order to ascertain whether a particular expenditure is capital or revenue. We also had a concept of deferred revenue expenditure where an expenditure which is actually revenue in nature normally would be revenue in nature but since it's of a huge amount, substantial amount and also we expect to get the benefit of it in future, in the future years, it was called as a deferred revenue expenditure. Such a cost, though it is revenue in nature, was treated something like an asset and the cost and the cost was written over over three years or five years as the firm felt is the uh, felt would be the life over which the benefit can be derived from such expenditure. One example is a very heavy advertising campaign. This ca The benefit of this campaign we expect to get over let us say five years. Advertising normally is a revenue expenditure, revenue. However, since this is a huge amount, we don't want to affect the profits of the first year, only the first year. And we also believe that the benefits of this expenditure would be got over the next five years. Therefore, such costs, such a revenue expenditure would actually be capitalized 
and spread over five years. That was deferred revenue expenditure. However, as per AS 26, intangible assets, all such expenditures are to be charged to the profit and loss account. Next, we come to receipt. Just like we talked of an expenditure, a receipt also, when we get money, receive money, it could be a capital receipt or a revenue receipt. A receipt which is got in the ordinary business activity are regular business operations like sales, like interest on deposits, <clears throat> interest on some investments, or when we sell scrap, etc. All such uh, receipts are treated as revenue. What is a capital receipt? On the other hand, receipts which result in a liability, amounts which we have to repay, would be capital receipts. Receipts which reduce the asset position of the business would be capital receipts. An example was where we took sale of machinery, machinery value 50,000 in our books, we sell it for 55,000. Out of this 55,000, 50,000 has reduced the asset position in our business and 5,000 which is the profit, which is a profit on sale of the machinery is taken as revenue receipt. So taking of a loan, borrowing money, taking selling off an asset, taking capital, all these are examples of capital receipt. Capital receipt usually taken as a liability and taken to the balance sheet. It's either a liability or it will reduce an asset or it will reduce asset like sale of an asset, sale of machinery or furniture. A revenue receipt is normally taken as an income taken to the profit and loss account and will increase profits and will increase profits.